As we take a look at some of our Alaska news for Thursday, September 7th, 2017, we see that a number of high-profile Fairbanksans attended the kickoff of the Walter Malat re-election campaign. As you know, Governor Walker used to be a Republican before he went independent and won the election by teaming up with who was at the time the Democratic contender for the governor. Now, of course, Malat running as lieutenant governor. After the primaries with Walker running as an independent, they ended up winning. And now they're running again, once again, with separate parties. Walker as an independent, Malat as the Democrat for lieutenant governor. We'll see where it goes from here, but the prominent, well, let's just say, representatives of the Fairbanks area included some of the well-known uh, politicians, Ukraine, the, the, the current borough mayor, a former borough mayor, the owner of China Hot Springs, and the owner of a nightclub. The state of Alaska has joined in an amicus briefing for a court, the case that's in front of the, ele- the Supreme Court right now about gerrymandering, saying that it, individual parties should not be allowed to redistrict according to ways that would benefit their parties. Now, in principle, that may sound like a good thing. The point of fact is, is that it has been continuing that every year that the new census information comes in, the redistricting gets done in accordance with whoever happens to be in power. The state of Alaska is now officially joining in and saying that this should end. We should make sure that this is not allowed. The Fairbanks School Board is driving a harder bargain on the late buses, as you may have heard about. The Fairbanks School District is struggling with fewer people actually coming in to serve as school bus drivers. They can't find enough bus drivers. And because of that, they're having to combine routes, which are making them really long. And because of the lateness in the the buses, the kids not getting to class on time, and in many cases not getting home on time, the parents don't know where their kids are. And all of this, now they're going after the school bus company. GVA, that's Golden Valley Electric, says that the Healy 2 plant should be ready in 2018. This is a coal plant that was built in the 1990s. It was supposed to be a clean coal plant, and it ran for about two years before it was shut down in 1999 and only produced electricity intermittently. Part of the problem is that the clean coal technology didn't perform as it was thought to, and basically it was not it just basically didn't work. And so now they've redesigned it as a regular coal plant, and I'm going to have to go and get that phone call. So if you'd like to get more news, check out the website, radiofreespeech.com, and become a subscriber.